There are three different methods that can be used to add lettering to a design. The lettering icon is found in the lettering and monogramming toolbox. Select the lettering icon, then click on the screen. There will be a line placed where your text will be added. Begin typing the text. If you need to go to the next line, press Shift plus Enter. Again, Shift plus Enter. And when you're done generating the letters, press Enter. That will generate the stitches. When you use this method to add text, you will be using the default font. If you double click on the lettering, the object properties will open up and you can change the font. Another way to add lettering is to right click on the lettering icon and that opens object properties. An advantage to using this method is that you can pre-select the type of font as well as the size you can apply italics, you can apply a justification, and you can always choose a baseline as well. For this method, just type in the box, press enter to go to the next line. If you want to pre-select your font, click on the drop down arrow. And if you know the name of the font you want to use, you can begin typing it in and you can type in more than one letter. When you find the font, press Enter to pre-select it. You'll notice that a preview of all the different fonts is given. To add the letters to the screen, you can either choose Apply or OK. OK will close the dialog box, and then to activate the letters, just click on the screen. Another method of adding lettering is to press the letter A on the keyboard. This will also open up object properties. You may choose to see only embroidery fonts, only keyboard design collections, or only true type fonts. When you select true type fonts, you can choose among block, serif, script, decorative, or you can choose to see all the fonts. So font choice can be limited, so only those fonts that you wish to see will be included in the list. The advantage of using an embroidery font is that these fonts have been digitized for embroidery on fabrics and are not just generated automatically. So you will always get a better result with embroidered fonts. Remember that all true type fonts are not suitable for embroidered lettering and you should always do a test sew out. You can change some options for lettering by opening Options. In the General tab, you can change the number of recently used fonts by making your selection, and you can change the preview size from small, medium, large, extra large, or huge. Make your selections and click OK. The options you choose will remain unless you change them again in Options or revert the software.